So no more than three hours ago, a Reddit post revealed many new, 15 new legendaries coming with Mox's heist of the handsome jackpot DLC December 19th. Now obviously spoilers lay ahead, not story wise or anything like that, but if you don't want to see any of these new legendaries and want it to come as a surprise to you on December 19th, you may just want to turn off now. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this for yourself, simply make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Now this video will not tell you how any of these are actually obtained, uh, that I do not know. All we can do is take a look at these legendaries and basically discuss what they offer. And we're going to start with class mods, starting with Zane. And firstly we can see this scene dead. Whenever Zayn damages an enemy with his weapon, he has a chance to automatically activate all of his kill skills. Additionally, his kill skills gain a bonus, plus 25% effect bonus. Now to me, as a Zayn main, this is amazing, it really is. This is a great, great class mod in my opinion. I'll probably take this and use this over the Antifreeze, which is my new favourite. So this is pretty damn cool. Now obviously other roles can differ on this, so there's no point in really going into that. But musha rain, dumma do, dumma da. Moving on and we have a Mara's class mod, Aware Golden Rule. Whenever an enemy damages a Mara, she gains increased action skill cooldown rate for a few seconds. This effect stacks. Now I've played with a Mara, but she ain't my main, I haven't spent too much time on her. This though I do think could be quite decent but she does have already some pretty decent class mods. Amara mains out there, let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section. Moving on and we have Flax class mod, it's called the Stackbot. We actually saw this within the 13 minute gameplay uh, release of this Moxie's host of the handsome jackpot. Whenever Flax scores a critical hit, they gain increased weapon damage until they score a critical hit. This effect stacks. Like what? Like <laughs> why don't Zayn get things like this? Why don't anybody else get- This is incredible. Whenever Flax scores a critical hit, they gain increased weapon damage until they don't score a critical hit. This effect stacks. Like wow. Some of the builds you can make around this will be incredible. Okay, so moving on to Moses class mod, the green monster. After firing her weapon for a few seconds, Moe's weapons gains bonus corrosive damage. The longer she continually fires her weapon, the greater the bonus. Now I've only used Moe's for a literally about an hour, an hour and a bit on somebody else's account. I mean, she seems okay, but like Amara, I do know she already has some great class mods that you can build great setups around. This to me seems like another one. You know, I really wish we could actually save our skill tree loadouts so we could go back to certain builds we've created in the past with a click of a button. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to move on to weapons and we're going to start with this pistol, the Burning Skullville. Put a little pepper on the end of it. Damage 2431 times 2. Like, wow! Accuracy of 59%, handling of 49%, reload time of 1.7 seconds, fire rate of 10.16 seconds, and magazine size of 8. A plus 21% weapon fire rate, plus 626 splash damage radius, consumes 5 ammo per shot, that's quite expensive to be honest, and a 1.5 times a weapon zoom. Highly effective versus flesh. Now this seems, on paper, as we've seen it here, like it could be pretty powerful. I mean, its fire rate isn't bad at all. With a mag size of 8.2, meaning you'll get two shots at least per clip. And I mean, there's many builds on Vault Hunters out there which actually expand on the uh, standard magazine size. So this could be quite a decent weapon, it really could. So we're going to move on. And next up we have the Potent Nukem. This is a heavy weapon. Damage, 16,987, like what? Accuracy, 77%. Handling, 41%. Reload time, 2.7 seconds. Fire rate, 0.55 seconds. And magazine size of 1. Plus 61% weapon damage. Plus 1,000 splash damage radius. And plus 69 projectile speed. 
Name Dropper. Now this seems incredible. Now like many of these actual legendaries we will be discussing today, they will have different benefits which we won't actually see until we actually get our hands on them. But this seems on paper insanely powerful. It really does. 16,000 damage people. That is ridiculous. It really is. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Heart Breaker or Viral Heart Breaker. This is a shotgun. Damage. 386 times 8. Wow! Accuracy of 73%, handling of 74%, reload time of 1.4 seconds, fire rate of 3.07 seconds, and a magazine size of 6. I don't want to set the world on fire! Plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 50% weapon damage, plus 27% weapon fire rate, plus 44% weapon shield capacity, and a 2.7 times weapon zoom. Weapon shield capacity is a 4105, and damage to projected front facing shield reflects bullets back at attackers. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I mean, it's hard to actually make out uh, shotguns without actually playing with them. I mean, there's so many shotguns across the board now within Borderlands 3. I mean, on paper, some of them seem incredible, but when I actually get to use them, they ain't that good. I mean, this looks good, it seems good, offering that shock damage too. It could be pretty epic, but at the end of the day, until we actually get using it, I can't really judge it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Dueling Lucky 7. This is another pistol. Damage, 958. Accuracy, 56%. Handling, 55%. Reload time of 2.5 seconds. Fire rate, pretty quick at 12.6 seconds. And magazine size of 10. With a plus 10% critical hit damage, all for Tuna. Again, it seems okay on paper. Shoots pretty quick, 10 in a mag, almost doing a thousand damage at this variant too. Isn't offering an element though, but no doubt it will drop within the DLC on December 19th, offering elements. Next up, we have the Shredded Creps. This being another new pistol. This one offering 1671 damage, a 66% accuracy, handling of 51%, a reload time of 2.2 seconds, fire rate of 3.64 seconds, relatively slow, and a magazine size of 6. Oh me. Plus 46% weapon damage, plus 15% weapon fire rate, plus 101 splash damage radius, and a 1.5 times weapon zoom. Stock gyro jets increase damage by 10% each, this being a torque pistol. Actually, you know what? I've got a feeling about this. I've got a feeling it could be quite decent. Next up, we have the Shredded Creamer. I mean, that just doesn't sound right. Damage, 5,093. Accuracy of 81%. Handling of 41%. Reload time of 4.3 seconds. And a fire rate of 0.77 seconds. Magazine size of 3. No dairy. A plus 500 splash damage radius and a 1.5 times weapon zoom. Stock gyro jets increase damage by 75% each. So why is this going to shoot like milk or something? I'm not even sure. But it sounds ridiculously crazy. No doubt it will be ridiculously crazy. I'm just, I don't know why I've got a thought of this just shooting like sticky cheese. I don't know what I've, I just don't know why I'm thinking that. But a shredded creamer, non-dairy, it just gives me that thought. But hey. Okay, so we're going to move on. And next up, we have the Tactical Auto Aim. This is a sniper offering that shock damage. Damage itself is 1720, accuracy of 94%. Now that is high. Handling of 50%, reload time of 2.8 seconds, a fire rate of 4.98 seconds, and a magazine size of 10. OGC hooked. A plus 21% critical hit damage, a 4.5 times and a 5 times weapon zoom, highly effective versus shields, swaps between fully auto and two burst. Now again, snipers, a lot like shotguns, I mean until you actually get your hands on them, it's hard to make out how they will perform in game. I mean I've seen many snipers look great on paper, when it actually comes to using them they ain't that good at all, so we will see with this tactical auto aim. Next up we have the cheap tips. This is an SMG, not offering any element, damage of a 539, accuracy of 77%, handling of 81%, reload time of 3.3 seconds, fire rate of 7.19 seconds, and a magazine size of 49. Pretty big mag. I'll get home early from work. A plus 21% critical hit damage, a plus 25% weapon shield capacity, and a 2.6 times weapon zoom. Damaging enemies may drop casino chips that boost weapon damage for 12 seconds when picked up. Well, that is a new one, and it sounds pretty cool. Hyperion as well. I'm actually really liking the sound of that SMG. I mean, I ain't too keen on Hyperion SMGs. I mean, there are one or two I do think are okay, but this one definitely sounds unique. 
Okay, so next up we have the Ion Laser, the Stark Ion Laser. This one offering that radiation damage with a damage of 269, pretty low. Accuracy of 80%, handling of 59%, a reload time of 2.4 seconds, a fire rate of 3.47 seconds, a magazine size of 26, particles unite, a plus 28% weapon charge speed, a plus 40% melee damage, and a 1.7 times weapon zoom can switch between radiation and shock elements and it is a Maliwan SMG. I mean my favourite SMGs in the game right now are Maliwan but they do seem to be a little bit more powerful than this on paper but we will see how this works guys I mean it could surprise us. Okay so next up we have the Relentless Boomer. This is another SMG made by Dahl. Offering incendiary damage, its damage is 416, accuracy of 78%, handling of 58%, a reload time of 1.8 seconds, a fire rate of 11.81 seconds, and a magazine size of 18, some like it hot, plus 10% critical hit damage, a plus 27% weapon fire rate, plus 15% reload speed, a plus 75 splash damage radius, a 1.5 times and a 3 times weapon zoom, highly effective versus flesh. Bullets are laced with hot sauce. <laughs> What is this all about? Relentless Boomer. I mean, that sounds pretty cool. Bullets are laced with hot sauce. I mean, I can't imagine the effect that this is going to actually have on enemies. And I can't wait to see the way they react to this. But it sounds damn cool for sure. And lastly, people, we have a shotgun offering cryo called the Slow Hand. Subsidized Slow Hand here. Damage is 1,276. Accuracy is 69%. Handling of 76%. Reload time of 3.0 seconds or 3 seconds, a fire rate of 3.59 seconds and a magazine size of 13, well, that's pretty high. Take your time, sugar, this is obviously related to moxie in some way. A minus 22% weapon damage, a plus 10 critical hit damage, a plus 25% weapon shield capacity, a plus 280 splash damage radius, consumes 2 ammo per shot, and a 2.2 times weapon zoom and it slows enemies. Weapon shield capacity is 3569, this is a Hyperion shotgun again shotguns on paper can look incredible but sometimes don't perform this one definitely a my opinion reward for moxie somewhere but we will see but those guys are the 15 legendaries so far we know are coming with the dlc on december 19th moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot so yes some of these sound really really cool in my opinion and i cannot wait to get my hands on them now as always guys if any more news drops around in anything borderlands you guys know i will have it covered right here on my channel so subscribe if you are new around here but on that note i am out thanks as always for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video i really do if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button and hopefully people i will see you on that next one